Hi dear students, we have a new question uh, for today's Brainiac's doubt clearance session. So this question is very important actually because uh, this already it came for NEET and we are also expecting this type of questions for NEET actually. So this will uh, check whether you have a clear understanding of mass percentage that is mass by mass ratio. Okay, and you have any idea regarding the molecular formula. This is what this test actually okay so let us start so they are talking about uh, so i hope you could see the question just read the question two oxides of a metal contain 50 percentage and 40 percentage of the metal respectively if the formula of the first oxide is mo2 then the formula of the second oxide is so here we are talking about two oxides so let me say this is my first oxide okay so my first oxide is, they have told it is MO2. Now in the first oxide, they told what is the percentage of metal in the first oxide. So the percentage of metal in my first oxide, they have given it as 50%. Correct? Okay. So 50% they have given. And so what will be the percentage of oxygen then? So the percentage of oxygen in this case is 50 percentage. How we are getting it? Because total is 100. So 100 minus 50. Correct. So you will get it as 50 percentage. Now, in the case of second oxide, what they are telling? Okay, we will uh, talk about second oxide next. So from this, what the uh, what is the meaning actually? Percentage of metal is 50 percentage means what actually so we know mass percentage formula, right? So I can write mass percentage of metal is equal to 50 percentage that means what 50 gram of metal is present in 100 gram of the metal oxide Correct. So that is the meaning of that. So I can say mass percentage of the metal uh, is equal to 50 percentage correct so let me write so i can say mass percentage of the metal can be written as mass of the metal mass of the metal divided by total mass divided by total mass of the metal oxide total mass of the metal oxide total mass of metal oxide correct metal oxide okay total mass of the metal oxide into 100 will give me the mass percentage value 50 correct so we don't know the mass of the metal so let us assume the mass of the metal as x we say the atomic mass of the metal as x so let's assume let's assume atomic mass atomic mass of metal equal to x okay so we know that atomic mass x divided by total mass so we know that the formula of the first one is mo2 so that is x plus o2 means 16 into 2 32 will come into picture correct into 100 is equal to 50 correct so how we can calculate x from this we can rewrite the equation as x divided by x plus 32 is equal to 50 divided by 100 so this will become x by x plus 32 is equal to 1 by 2 correct so we can cross multiply this so this will become 2x is equal to x plus 32 so if you are bringing x here x becomes 32 that is atomic mass of the metal atomic mass of the metal is equal to 32 i have got now we will talk about the second oxide so in the case of second oxide they are telling 40 percentage of the metal is there correct so i may say for second oxide we don't know the formula 
so we write second oxide the percentage of metal the percentage of the metal is equal to how much 40 percentage 40 so what will be the percentage of oxygen here so we know that if 40 percentage is metal that will be 100 minus 40 and that will be equal to 60 so what is the meaning of that actually percentage of metal is 40 means how i can write 40 gram of metal is present in is present in 100 gram metal oxide correct 100 gram metal oxide now let me calculate the number of moles of the metal so number of moles of metal is equal to what actually given mass that is 40 gram divided by atomic mass so atomic mass we have calculated it as 32 okay because the metal remains the same so in our first calculation we have calculated it as 32 so what is this value we can cut with 8 8 into 5 is 40 8 into 4 is 32 correct so it is 5 by 4 and number of moles number of moles of oxygen is equal to how much tell me so it is 60 gram correct 60 percentage of oxygen means 60 gram of oxygen is present in 100 gram of metal oxide so i will put 60 divided by the atomic mass of oxygen that is 16 correct so if you divide it you can uh, divide by 2 this will become 8 and this will become 30 and if you still cut it this will become 15 and this will become 4 correct so i can say 60 by 16 or 15 by 4 15 by 4 is approximately coming around 3.75 correct because 4 into 4 is 16 so it will be 3.75 and 5 by 4 is approximately around 1.25 now tell me metal to oxygen ratio here is 3.7 1.25 1.25 to 3.75 but they are asking you what actually empirical formula so to get the empirical formula you should get the lowest possible ratio so how can you do that metal to oxygen ratio is equal to 1.25 okay 1.25 to 3.75 so to get the lowest value divide by the smallest number so that is 1.25 so let me divide by 1.25 so this will become 3.75 divided by 1.25 so this will get cancelled as 1 and this will get cancelled as 3 so tell me metal to oxygen ratio is 1 is to 3 so my expected empirical formula is mo3 so let's see whether that option is present here so i could see here an option mo3 is present in the option c so option c is my correct answer so i hope you understood the concept here if you have any doubt get back to us to understand more about this, you can subscribe or you can contact Brainiac's classes. And to get more videos of similar nature, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.